I've been using um, Google Apps for about four years and Moodle for nearly ten years and about two years ago I came across Harpara which um, provides a, a dashboard of um, students um, work within Google Apps for Education and it's this which I really want to show you in this screencast but also how it can work with Moodle and its relationship to Google Apps for Education so I will start by just giving you a brief overview of how they fit together so if on the left here you've got users which are created in Google Apps for Education and this might be driven by Active Directory or LDAP accounts school accounts, college accounts um, and then the teacher will have its own Google Drive and they'll also have a kind of Harpara teacher dashboard which enables them to see the files in their students Google Drive which is here and then on the right I have um, a Moodle course which embeds um, files from the teachers Google Drive and students Google Drives to um, show how the kind of the different files and so fit together in the course structure. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is dive straight into the Apara Teacher Dashboard. So um, they call it a room, but it's effectively that's a group of students. So if I click there, so these are my students and um, this is the kind of main dashboard play page and you can see we've got language arts, math, science and they're effectively folders. Um, so what I will do is um, let's have a look at students. So I've got one students folder here and you can see I've got a, a kind of a thumbnail with some information coming up there but I can actually open that. I'm actually logged in as that student now so I can write something. Um, so after I left school for some holidays I took a trip to to the students I think a while to load up let's go back there okay so if I refresh this in time I should be able to see that the student has updated it, yeah. See there, you can see that. See there we go. Um, there's the what the student wrote, and if I was wanting to give some kind of feedback, I could um, highlight that and write some comments. Okay, so it's a little comment, um, and if I go back to the students, you see they can actually see what the teacher has written there, um, which is quite a useful feature. But um, now, if I go back to the teacher dashboard, I can see. If I refresh that. So this is something I think is really useful, being able to kind of just track what the student has done and I can see there that it was last updated by this student um, and if I go there, um, I can see a bit there, a bit of writing there, um, trip to London So um, it just enables you to keep a teacher to keep track of a number of files without having to have them printed out and submitted. Um, but the more useful feature I think is being able to um, push a template file into each of your students folders with something called Smart Copy. So I'm going to just select a file
to use as my template. So I'm going to use that one, select that one, which is a presentation where the student writes a 90 second, gives us a 90 second presentation. So I'll use that. I'm just going to straight copy and I'll put the student's name at the beginning of the file. Next, I'm going to put it into that same folder. Select all the students. I'm just going to whisk through those. And I'm going to copy that into all their folders. So this takes a bit of a while, but it will copy that presentation to all the student folders you see here. So while that's going on, I will just briefly show you some of the other um, features. So language arts is effectively a folder um, and then you've got maths. So that's another kind of folder and if I go to the students view, um, this is the students view, they they get these their maths folder there, that's what it looks like for them. And you can see that um, the school owns the is the owner, um, but the t um, but the student can edit and the teacher can also edit. All right, going back to the dashboard. So that's math, science, um, e-portfolios are effectively Google sites, kind of websites. So you can set up a template website which the student then populates and builds and you've got calendars for each of your um, classes. I've also got Gmail um, so you can practice writing to each other, communicating and safe use of email and then you've also got in the sharing area you've got um, the ability to look at the Google Plus activity and profiles and so on. Alright, so I'm just going to go back quickly to the main dashboard. Okay, so that's still just waiting to see what's happening there. So that's still processing the copying, so it should show up here and we should see that later on. Um, so what I'll do now is um, just show you a little bit about um, what Google Apps for Education account looks like, um, which is the bit on the left here, the users. So if I go to there, so I'm logged in as admin for the whole kind of organization, school, college, whatever. Um, so you can see which Google Apps um, provided by Google itself you have set up. Okay. Yeah, so they're the main things and you can um, define how it syncs with your mobile and you've got a talk and hangouts there. So if I go so that's the Google Apps. But you can also add other um, proprietary apps which should be in the marketplace. Um, so like that and that kind of um, app would show up if I go to the students so they'll be able to pick up other apps here if the school you know bought or registered for other applications so that's other apps um, and then your users which are there so these might be populated by your school, college, kind of Active Directory or LDAP directory and synced. Um, there they are. Um, so these these are my students. Here's Anita. There. And then if we go back to the teacher dashboard, we can see here's Anita there. And now let's have a look to see if No, not yet. Still waiting for that. Still processing. I say it's processed some of them. 
uh, some of them have that yeah you can see down here actually so there's that 90 second presentation down there but it's not coming to an each fold yet so it does take a time there it's kind of coming through okay so that's a very brief overview of uh, the Harpara dashboard teacher dashboard and now I will just end up by showing you how these fit together in Moodle so um, this presentation and this word doc this Google document all embedded in a Moodle course there and there's the drawing I showed you um, so when I update those they update directly into the course so let's just maximize this so that was my beginning slide so I was interested in any time formative assessment of student work so I can just keep track of what students are doing when it's convenient to me um, one point is that it isn't this isn't a kind of set of um, tools that are exclusive to Google um, Microsoft Office 365 have similar features although what's nice about the Google Apps for Education is they tend to be kind of quicker and simpler and those are my end notes which I won't go into but these will be up on my blog and they'll be up in the Moodle course which I've just shown you so that is the end